Hello dear students, uh, I hope you are fine and doing well. Today I'm going to uh, give you some tips about this chapter. The chapter is talking about the system of equation. And the system of equations means that we have, for example, if we have x plus y is equal to 0, this is the equation. If we have two equations together, x plus y is equal to 2, x minus y is equal to 3, for example, equation number 1 and equation number 2. Together, this one will call a uh, system. So, systems means that we have two or more equations together and we are going to solve it. Maybe, <coughs> sorry, we have two uh, equation and we want to solve it together or you have three equations with the three variables we want to solve so one one point one and one point two they are very easy uh, you saw this one before in your high school it was just like like a review for you and then we will change this one to the matrix augmenting matrix later we are going to talk about uh, in general matrix okay till one point six so here uh, we are going to talk about the matrix from the 1.3 to the 1.6, which uh, help us for solving the equation. In general, we have a system. So I'm going to start with the system of equation. The system is like that. We have such equation like that, and it's easy for you. You know how to solve this one. We have two methods for solving a linear equation. For example, if we have two equation, 2x minus y is equal to 5, x plus 4y is equal to 7. In case you have such example like that, you can easily solve it by what? Together, by uh, equation number and equation number two, maybe by a substitution method or together. So I'm going to use the method, first method, with a substitution method. Okay, so A. Part a. Substitution, substitution method means that, for example, in the first equation, we have 2x minus y is equal to 5. You can say y, if I say y come to here, or you can say 2x equal to 5 plus y, y equal to 2x minus 5. That's the value of x, or depends. Maybe from the equation number 2, you can say y is equal to 7 minus 4, up to you. Then put in equation number one, uh, sorry, number two, means that substitute in equation number two. So we have x plus four instead of y, instead of y, I'm going to use uh, this equation or this substitution, this value. So it's equal to four, two x minus five is equal to seven. So x is equal to eight x minus 20 is equal to 7 so 9x is equal to 7 plus 20 so 9x is equal to 27 and you know when i say solve means that find the value of x and y and we say x and y we mean just single value x and y which means that single value we mean x without any addition or subtraction or multiplication square root just single x no one one over two x no square root of x nothing just x okay we need x so in that case we will divide both sides by nine i will get what x is equal to three all right so that's all when you get the value of x directly put in the substitution equation that you get so y will be equal to what? y will be, uh, if I put here, I will get 6, 2, 3, minus 5, which is what means that y is equal to 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. So the solution is what? As 3 and 1. That's the solution. Okay, dear? That's all about the uh, value of x. Now... I am going to solve this one by the second method. The second method is what? As I said, the second method is x by, okay, solving x by another method. Method B is simultaneously. 
which means that together all together okay dear so how we solve this one we have 2x minus y is equal to 5 and we have two uh, we have x uh, plus 4y is equal to 7 equation 1 equation 2 so how we solve this one it's easy you can multiply the second by 4 and you will get what I'll get if I multiply by 4 multiply equation 1 by 4 we get by number 4 we get what we will get 8x minus 4y is equal to 20 do not forget about whole equation should be multiply and 4y okay is equal to 7 now you can directly add these together this will eliminate we will get what we will get 9x is equal to 27 and x is equal to 3 and uh, here's the value put in any equation that you like put in equation 2 you will get what x plus uh, 4y equal to 7 so it means that 3 plus 4y equal to 7 which means that 4y is equal to 7 minus 3 4y equal to 4 divide both sides by 4 you'll get 4 y is equal to 1 so x is equal to 1 and 3 okay dear so this is about this uh, section it was easy but you know each equation each equation represent the line for example equation number one which we say 2x minus y is equal to 5 represent the uh, the what do you say uh, the uh, line such line like that okay and you know because y you can say y is equal to what as i told you before y is equal to 2x minus 5 this one is a slope this one is a x this one is that b so here we have minus 5 here okay and here we have maybe between 2 and 3 I don't know, some number like that okay and the other equation this is equation number one and the other equation we have what we have x equation number two x plus 4y is equal to 7 means that 4y equal to minus x plus 7 divided by 4 am i right so divide by 4 so here's the slope so in that equation maybe you have this is a one uh, you can see you have something like uh, four here and there's the equation here but the intersection will be between what because the solution is equal to x y is 3 1 means that we have 3 here so the intersection between these two, two line line number one and line number two or number one two will be 3 and 1 so the intersection means that the solution or the solution means that the intersection like that so we have three cases for solution three types of solution maybe one solution okay which uh, let's write down for in the, this page okay. you can solve this one at home i will leave these examples all for you because they are easy you can see the examples they are one by one they are easy you can solve together so uh, i'm going to show you how many uh, types numbers of the solution that we have here's the solution system has exactly one solution exactly one solution or has no solution i'll tell you has no solution or infinite solution so i'm going we solve some example here you saw this one which is equal to three one now i'm going to give you some example which they have uh, uh, they have they have they haven't any uh, solution together okay so uh, for example you can see this example in example five find the example five you can see this uh, system maybe in the exam you have to see just saw the uh, system and maybe you get something that they have solution or not we have 8x example 5 minus 2y is equal to 5 okay minus 12x 
plus 3y is equal to 7. Now I'm going to, we should multiply the equation number 1 by what? By 3. And I'm going, I'm going to multiply the equation number 2. Equation 1. Equation number 2 by 2. I'll get what? 24x minus <coughs> 6y. 15 here also minus 24x plus 6y is equal to what 14 so in that case i'll get what i'm going to add them this one and that one will go i'll get 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 is equal to 29 when the left side is equal to 0 and that one is equal to 9 means that is not true so what, what about the system? The system means that has no solution. Just leave it. Okay, dear. I think it's easy. It's not hard. And uh, it's a type of the solution. The second type. So it has no solution. Now, about how about the infinite solution? Another example you can find in the example 6. Okay. So we have 3x minus 6y is equal to 12. 4x minus 8y is equal to 16. How about this one? How we solve that one? It's easy. Again, we have equation 1, equation 2. So we are going to multiply this first by 4 and the second by 3. So I'll get 12x, uh, 24y, uh, 48. Okay, how about the second? Again, x, uh, 24y, okay, 24y. And again, 48. Now, we should multiply this one by minus and minus and minus. And we add them, we will get what? 0 equal to 0. When the system, when you solve the system, the right side is equal to some number and the left side is equal to the same number. So it means that has infinite solution. Okay, dear? So it means that the system has... Uh, infinite solution that's all so um, uh, please try to solve this one what do you mean by the infinite solution or uh, non-solution geometrically if you uh, sketch the graph the first line with the second line if we intersect in one point so it means that has one solution of the system when we solve it and later we get uh, nothing, no solution means that the system, the, the line one and the line two, the second one, they are parallel to each other, even ever uh, intersecting together. When we see that the system has an infinite solution, means that the first line is coincide with the second line. The first line is coincide with the second line, which means that coincide means that they are together okay they are together so l1 and l2 they are together so how many points we have infinite point that's why we have infinite solution that's the geometrically representing or mean of the intersection so please try to solve these example uh, one by one together i hope you're interested with this uh, subject it's not uh, difficult and uh, forget about example Model in mathematics, example 7. That's all about this chapter. So example 7 and example 8 uh, will not be included for you. Please try to solve this ex the exercise, which they are easy. And have a nice time. For See you in the next lecture.